floral, floral look at that i can't even floral mm -hmm. here we go it's starting get ready what up what is going on listen we are back first of all okay let's dress the elephant in the room your girl looking real good this video it, on this look on this makeup is on igtv so you got to watch it there i have neglected my igtv in terms of makeup tutorials so i put this one there make sure you watch it the nails are also in a different video these are press-ons so watch me do that in another youtube video additionally i'm excited because if you've been following me for at least a year at least during quarantine, then you know that I have racked up on a lot of fragrances. It has been such a peaceful, I almost said romantic. It's been such a, a peaceful and it's just been a great pastime of mine. I've taken it up. I never used to buy this many fragrances. We're jumping right in if you haven't realized. I never used to buy this many fragrances. First of all, I couldn't even afford them. Growing up, I had one or two. It was Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. I had a lot of body sprays, you know, the whole Victoria's Secret body sprays, all that stuff. I didn't have a lot of fragrances. And the ones that I did have, the two that I did have, I knew that I could not wear it. You know, it was one of those things where you get it as a gift or you buy it for your birthday and you literally don't use it. Or if you do, you use a pinch of it because it's so expensive that you're like, I cannot waste this. Well, these days I'm just all about luxury. Everything that I don't need, but I want. And fragrances fall right into that. So if you can't wait to see all of my new fragrance additions to my stash, then give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment and let's talk about fragrance. Oh, make sure you are subscribed to my text community. Follow me on Instagram because a lot goes down over there. It's really fun over there. It's fun here too. I'm just a great person. <laughs> I'm just like doing my own horn. I love it. <laughs> Hi. Oh, and you're gonna get all the fingers today. You know why? Because I've done red nails for the first time in a long time. I normally don't do red because it makes me feel matronly, but something came over me today and I was like, let's give them red. And it's a vibe. Okay. Okay. So first of all, I'm so excited. Honestly, first of all, watch the first iteration of this video. It's a little further back. Just search it on YouTube. Mena fragrance. Okay. You'll find the video. That is the initial stash roundup of my fragrance collection. These are all new. Okay. There are 19. Dang, that's a lot. There are 19 fragrances here that are new in addition to the others in that video. So I need to actually think of a new way to store all of these because I have so many more I'm planning to get this fall from Sephora, but I digress. All right. The first fragrance that we are going to talk about is the Fenty fragrance. Now, I don't believe this has a name, but I got my, my handy dandy computer to help me. And you know, I'm saying all the details and stuff. It's just the Fenty Eau de Parfum. Love this. It was sent to me in PR. Ever so grateful. Love the details around the top and even the top of the actual fragrance. Just so cute. I thought, what is going on? Why is this so empty and so plain? But honestly, it doesn't need to me anything else. It's smells fantastic. This is 2.5 ounces. Interesting. Usually I get 3.4 or 1.7. 2.5 ounces. This is a musk scent. I love me a good musk. Okay. So it's giving magnolia and musk unite with tangerine. This is a very strong scent. To me, this is a very mature scent. It's not for teenagers. You know what I'm saying? It's for the big girls, for the women. You know what I'm saying? Those of us who love to drink a little bit of Chardonnay, you know, a little bit of champagne, a little bubbly. This is what this tells me. Like you have to be a grown woman, in my opinion, to go ahead and rock Fenty's Eau de Parfum. It's giving blueberry hints of vulgar, but what? See, okay, all the names, get ready. My accent, I have a lot of accents. It's gonna all do things. But hints of Bulgarian rose, absolute. Ooh, absolute. Geranium, I almost said Geronimo. Geranium and patchouli. I like this a lot. Again, mature scent. I'm not wearing a fragrance right now. I'm gonna choose one of these to put on. I don't know what I wanna put on because I love all of them. Like literally love all of them. I have given some fragrances away, but I've, I've kept, these are the ones I kept, okay? Oh my gosh. Like I just smelled it again and it did something to me. It literally just cleared my sinuses. Like not in a like medicine way, but a, in a very soothing way. This is strong. And, and when you spray this, if you spray like me and you're heavy handed, yo, it's giving sillage when you are around in town. I love to spray fragrance both on my skin and my clothing. So it also lingers a lot longer. My God today, I just can't talk enough about this. It is grown and sexy. That's it. I know it's sold out, but if you have this and like it, let me know if you have it and hate it. Also let me know. I love musk. So it was just a done deal for me. I knew I was going to love it and I do. Now another grown and sexy fragrance is Replica Jazz Club, honey. This is not for the kids, okay? This is some for the honeys, okay? We got heady cocktails and cigars. This is a male fragrance. 
Let me explain. The official name is Maison Margiela. Mm -hmm. A replica, okay? And it replicates familiar scents and moments from varying locations and periods. So this is replicating Brooklyn 2013, Jazz Club, Heady, Cocktails and Cigars, okay? It's a male fragrance, but I feel like if you are grown, sexy, strong, assertive, you know, if you dominate in your presence without much spoken word, I feel like you could rock Jazz Club. And that's me. I just explained my whole self to you. Praise the Lord. This is so great. It is, I can't smell it right now. And like through this, I don't know why, but this is so good. Now, you know, if you've watched my vlogs or just seen my IG page in general, you've seen me break down my fragrances into travel size versions. This is the kind of fragrance that I can do that to and I have. So I do have a purse travel size version of this because I just simply take the top off and then do what I do. Look on IG or here in my vlogs, <laughs> you'll find the video. This one, I can't do it to because of the way the top is. So I don't have a travel version of this and that's fine. This is very strong. It is very commanding. It's going to command any audience that you're in front of. I mean, it it's a male fragrance, okay? I It was interesting because in my last video, some of you said that you actually don't prefer the sweet, floral, powdery type scents. You more so prefer scents that are for men. And I thought I was perplexed by it at first, but when I thought about it and I later picked up Jazz Club, I was like, I guess I'm the same way in a sense because my husband, I've gotten him so many great fragrances and he has a great stash as well. I love when I hug him and I can smell it on his shoulders and his neck and everything. I never thought about my love for it going so far as me wearing it, but this is literally a male fragrance, but I consider unisex, honey. And even as before, they were like, you can rock this. And I was like, oh yes, let's go ahead and do that. Love Jazz Club. If you tried this, I want you to let me know. They do offer like many of these brands, the Discovery Library sets where they send you those samples that's for you so you for free or maybe they still do, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And I did that and that's when I got to smell all of the Maison Margiela fragrances and I, I learned that I do like this one. It had to grow on me cause it's real strong, but it definitely is a fave for show, okay? Oh my goodness, I didn't give you the notes. I was talking so much. Okay, it's a warm and spicy, woody spices type fragrance. It's got pink pepper, rum, tobacco leaf, absolute. Yes, it's giving smooth cocktail type of a warm scent. Oh my goodness, it is. Oh, okay, so on Zavora's site, it says unisex genderless scent, but then the style description says male fragrance. Okay, anyway. I wear it and I love it. Now, something a little different is Floral Street. Now, a while ago, I don't go to the mall very often. A while ago, I was in the mall and I went to Sephora and I just wanted the woman who was in the fragrance section to just pique my interest with any fragrance she thought I might like. So she proceeded to show me the Tom Ford section. I already had a Tom Ford, so I didn't want another one from there because it's mad money. I was like, hold on, next time. Then she began to show me other options, one of which was floral, because my accent floral street okay i was like never heard of this right and she sprayed all of them on that tab paper thing i smelled them all and i found some that i really did like and one of those was in my other my beginner video of my fragrance stash this is a new one that was sent to me and i like it like it's it's a kind of bottle where i would never pick it up like it, it it's it's playful it doesn't give me serious type vibes like these two do and it, this actually the way that these bottles look to me go along with how they smell. This is not like that. Okay, so this is an eau de parfum. That means that it's oil-based. It lasts longer than an eau de, why do you say it? Eau de toilette, toilette? What? I'll get to it. I have some of those here. <laughs> They're not, they don't last as long, okay? So it's in the warm and spicy family. The scent type is warm and sweet gourmand. That is like my love language. I love warm, sweet gourmand, spicy. Girl, give it all to me. Key notes are coconut, jasmine, salted musks. Yes, all of the things, okay? The description is a dry floral amber combined Finding white florals and amber accords with subtle sprinkles of ba Balinese from Bali. Hold oh, on, we going to Bali? Hi, oh, Balinese coconut. Is that what they said? <laughs> I could have sworn she said Balinese, praise the Lord. This is good. And like I said, like it's a musky type fragrance. The bottle just doesn't give me that. The blue and the yellow, but it's not about the bottle, baby. The scent is just amazing okay such a great product love it and that was sent to me i am in love with it now i have been hearing about killian comment and let me know if you've ever tried killian okay i have been hearing about killian because i believe what had happened was was it 
Jackie Ina or someone told me that this is the fragrance that Rihanna wears or used to wear. I mean, now she got her own fragrance line. Hello. But this was before that, right? And I was like, oh my, hold on. And then Jackie was just talking about it so much that I'm like, hold on, there's something in here. I need to check this out. So I smelled it one day in store. Some of these fragrances I just bought without smelling. Others of them I have gone in store and sniffed and fallen in love with. Okay, so this is Killian, uh, Killian Princess Eau de Parfum, okay, oil-based. It is a warm and spicy scent. That's why I know I like it. I don't look up all the notes and families and stuff. I smell it and I like it. I know it's for me. Okay, it's warm and spicy. See, it's a warm and sweet gourmand. Yes, it's got ginger. Interesting. Okay. Green tea, love green tea. And marshmallow, I love marshmallow in fragrances. What, hold on. That's what makes it sweet, yes. I love this so much. Ooh, it says princess is like sipping on a green tea matcha with a tip of ginger on the nose for sassy spice. Do you see that? It makes you wanna just. Mm -hmm. This is a must have, okay? If you love warm and sweet gourmands like me, this is what you need, end of story. Add this to your list. Let me know if you've tried this in the comments below. We have another. Maison Margiela replica. I really should have gotten a bigger bottle. I don't be doing small bottles and stuff. I hadn't even smelled this, but by looking at the <laughs> at the, the notes and stuff online, you know how you buy something and then they give you suggestions on or recommendations on what you might like? That's what happened here. But I hadn't smelled it and I just trusted that, you know what, I'm gonna like this. So it's in the earthy, excuse me, this is the Autumn Vibes. This is new from Maison Margiela. It is channeling Montreal 2018. Fragrance description is woody trail and red leaves. Yeah. The fragrance family is earthy and woody. The scent type is classic woods. Key notes are red berries, cardamom, mm, cedar wood, and moss. Now, this one, when I sprayed it, I wish I had those things, you know, like the professional fragrance people have, you know, like when you go to Macy's or whatever and they spray it, but you just like smell its fragrances. Ooh, yes, okay. When I first smelled this, it's also it also says here that it's a unisex, genderless scent. It's definitely giving me smoke. Okay, like cigars. Jazz Club is also going to remind you of cigars. Like this is like absolutely cigars. Whereas Autumn Vibes is like, cigars but there's something sweet to it and maybe it's the berries i don't know this one is also more for me leaning male but if you're bold and you're daring and you are just like boss you know and you just want to like smell like that this is this is gonna give that to you girl i mean this is this is not for kids honey this is not this is not for your daughter sweet 16 okay she cannot be going to high school wearing autumn vibes i'm just saying but honey you gonna catch me in the fall wearing autumn vibes okay to bed in the morning during the daytime to work out whenever it's got that sillage is so good i sprayed it one time and i was gonna go work out and as i was working out i, I kept smelling myself and i'm like what is that what is that i have really enjoyed it it is cute i wish i got a bigger size but it's fine i have a lot of fragrances girl you would think i'd buy bigger small sizes now but no i just wanna i want to enjoy Ooh, another fun one is a versace Ooh, versace versace Versace, how you say it? I want to sound fancy and rich too. Hi. All right, this is Versace Dylan Turquoise Pour Femme. Listen, the bottle is just so rich and beautiful. Like, what in the world? Now, I must say, I did smell this once in store and I wasn't a fan. I was like, it's kind of like, I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was like aquatic. I was like, oh, do you do it aquatic? You know, that ain't really gonna be for me. You know what I'm saying? But your girl ended up getting PR from Sephora Squad. They had Versace Dylan Turquoise in it. And I was like, wait, well, if it's free, let me try to give this a shot. I'm gonna spray it again because I just need to be reminded because it looks so good. Next time I'm gonna purchase those things, you know? those like papers to be like a professional. So I sprayed it on myself. I'm like fanning myself right now just to get a little refresher. And I have worn this quite a few times, a few spritzes because this is a very strong scent. This does give off the aura of money you know, like investments, houses, mutual funds, you know. It just gives off 
Bitcoin, you know, cryptocurrency, all of the things, you know. This is not giving overdrafts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, she ain't. You got on Versace, Dylan, Turquoise, Paul them. Mm -mm. You not in the red on your account, okay? You are not in overdraft. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't even use Cash App. Like, if you got this on, you don't even use Cash You don't even know who Venmo is. You know what I'm saying? You only use credit. And you pay your credit card off every month. Then when you wear Versace, Dylan, mm -hmm. now, <laughs> I don't always fit into all those categories. But I still wear Versace Dylan because I'm daring like that. You gotta be daring to wear Versace Dylan. Okay, it is screaming money, okay? Now, not only is the bottle beautiful, this is one of those that I can, I haven't yet, but I can break down and put into a travel size container for a little bit of on the go action. This is, I got some of my fingers. Oh, this is giving all. This is giving great Popone. You know what I'm saying? This is giving caviar, you know? This is giving fine dining. This is not giving McDonald's, okay? This is not giving Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is giving money. It smells great, in my opinion. I do love it. It is a fresh fragrance family type of scent. Fresh florals is are the scent types. It's giving lemon prima fiore essence, okay? With guava and musks. It's got musk in it. It's talking my language. The fragrance opens up with a burst of Prima Fiore, lemon and Italian Mandarin. I'm trying to act out what I'm envisioning, like the commercial would be, you know, if they do commercials. You don't do commercials with Versace, is it? Yes, it's got heart notes of guava, mm -hmm. complemented by transparent jasmine petals and freesia with the central base notes of clear wood lens, modern, mo wait, okay, there's too many words, okay? This is very fancy, too many words. Lens modern, modern, it's Modern, wow. Yo, the accents when they combine, it's, it's, it's a collision, head on collision. Lens modernity, modernity, modernity. What does that mean? I've never heard of that. Have you heard of that? Comment, let me know. Lens modernity <laughs> to this prestigious modern fragrance. If it's modern, just say that. Moving right along to Gucci Flora. Oh my goodness. This one is so gorgeous. Yo, if this was water and oil, I would have still bought it just because of the bottle. I'm that kind of person. I can't stand it. I'm so annoyed. This is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia Eau de Parfum Oil Based Baby. Yes, okay. This is a floral scent, honey. And it says that it's layerable. I agree. It is light enough for that. Fruity floral. Yes, fruity floral. Ah, here we go with the tongue twisters, girl. Say it five times. Fruity, f whoa. Let's try and say this five times. Fluty floral, flu ah. Try this at home and comment and let me know if you're able to do this. Five times, fruity floral, fruity floral, fruity floral. Fr See, you have to like my neck. Fruity floral, fruity floral, fruity floral, fruity floral, fru fruity floral. Wow, that took so much concentration. Okay, it's got keynotes of pear, white gardenia, brown sugar. Ooh, yes, brown sugar, brown sugar, babe. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, this delicious potion of joy built around the gardenia flower, blended with solar jasmine, absolute cheerful pear blossom accord and sweet brown sugar accord. Wow, lots of accords. It is a signature floral scent for all free-spirited women full of positive energy, because yes, I am full of positive energy, full of inspiration. Okay, yes, this is beautiful, okay? Oh, all of the, the key notes, duh. White gardenia, grandiflorum jasmine, pear blossom. They got extra stuff back here. It don't matter, this stuff is, this is good. This is good. This is the 1.6 ounce. Okay, and this is one that I can break down, will be breaking down into those atomizer, atomizers. We went over this already. I'm gonna link those below in case you wanna do it yourself. It really is so intuitive. If not, watch my videos. Oh, I got some of my hand, a little bit of like carry over. Okay, now this fragrance was a gift. Ellis Brooklyn also sent me a gift last year and that fragrance I did feature in my first video and talked about it and y'all loved it. So I hope that you love this one too. This one is different, more musky, right? The first one that was sent to me was B, B-E-E. Wow, like just hit the nail on the head. I DM them and I was like, how did you know I would like this? And they're like, we didn't. <laughs> 
it was new, we sent it, we're so glad you like it. And I'm like, yes, thank you very much, okay? This is, oh, it's Super Amber, excuse me. This is Ellis Brooklyn Super Amber Eau de Parfum, baby. Warm and spicy, and the scent type is Warm Woods. Love that, for sure. He notes are Amber, Cedarwood, Vanilla Orchid. Oh yes, I love vanilla. Some might think that vanilla is basic, but baby, mix it the right way. You talking to me, okay? Now this is definitely, let me get a little fresher. I've worn, I've worn her one time and I said, I gotta give you a few more tries, baby. Like you're a little bit different, you know? Like off the bat, hold on, hold on. I'm having a difficult time filming this because I have remnants of other fragrances on my hands. <laughs> I haven't worn this one very often, but I already know Warm and Spicy is for me. Ooh, it's magnetic, hold on. That's so cute. I love that. It's the details, honey. I like it. Okay, Amber Cedarwood Vanilla Orchid. The Super Amber Eau de Parfum is a super warm, addictive scent that envelops like a cashmere blanket on bare skin. Come on. It features Amber Upcycled Virginia Cedarwood. Baby, you got Christmas trees up in here, honey. Vanilla Orchid and Biodegradable Musk. Musk is the word of the day. Do you understand? If you love musk, comment and let me know. If you have no idea what musk is, baby, Maybe you need to step up your fragrance game, okay? Praise the Lord. Okay, I know that I shared this with you on IGTV. I know that I've talked about it in a vlog because when I bought it, I was vlogging, but I know that it wasn't in the in the original video because this is pretty new. Okay, I bought the big version, baby. I was like, hold on. Yo, the day that I went in to pick up Jazz Club, when I was smelling so many different fragrances, I ended up picking up this one too. I got the big ones. I was just so sold that I was like, give me the biggest ones you have right now. This is so good. I've broken her down already into a travel size version because she smells fantastic. The bottle is beautiful to me. So beautiful to me. Girl, we got cats, shoes, cherries, hearts, bows, balloons, like a balloon, a mylar balloon, honey. We got a pink shoe. We got what Monopoly. Girl, we got bananas. This is just so fun. It's like fun and festive. It's an eau de parfum. Like I said, it's a warm floral. It's got daffodil almond milk. Wow. I mean, I, I'm so intrigued by fragrance. Almond milk. What does almond milk smell like? This is so interesting. Cashmere in. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. I love this so much. Wow, this is good. I'm reminded about how good this is. Let's go into the description, honey. This fragrance opens with juicy notes of rhubarb and bright daffodil that reveal a comforting heart of daffodil and finished with a soft dry down of cedarwood. Here we go with cedarwood again. And cashmere and modern, bright, feminine. Perfect is an unconventional yet harmonious clash of fresh florals and calm, soothing notes. I'm about to spray her on because this is just, there's like a candiness to it. It smells like candy, toffee candy, ankasa, but in a good way. Like it's not giving Starburst Skittles. It just, gosh, 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 this is so good. Oh, if you don't get anything from this list and you like florals, warm florals, you have to get Marc Jacobs Perfect. I'm just telling you right now, my eyes are closed for emphasis because it's that serious. Yeah, I, it is, I, I know. So I just wanna, I wanna draw you in a little closer, okay? Because this is serious, all right? This is groundbreaking, you know, life-changing, you get. So I just want you to, to get it, you know? That's why I'm emphasizing it this way, this very dramatic way. I like to be a little dramatic, you know, just a smidge, you understand? So go ahead, do that. Down below, links, great, praise the Lord. Oh my goodness. So this next scent I had on my wish list and I had never smelled it, but I've been racking up a list of fragrances that I want to get just based on content that I'm seeing all over social media. And Kenzo Flower was one of them. I did not intend on getting this big version of it, but first of all, let's turn it sideways. Looks like a flower stem, gorgeous, right? Totally cannot take this with you anywhere, but I have broken, broken some of this this down into a travel size version of it. Love this so much. It is powdery. So I smelled this at duty free on our way back home from Mexico. And that was this summer. And I was like, excuse me, I smelled this and several others. And this one took the cake for me. It's giving baby powder, 
but more sophisticated. It is so good. And I was like, no wonder why people love this. I hadn't ever smelled it. And I was like, I have to get it. And I got the big one. I was like, I have to, okay? Now let's go into the details, all right? It's got potent vanilla, white musks. No wonder, no wonder, musks, no wonder. Potent vanilla and white musks. Pink pepper, hmm. Bulgarian rose. We saw that somewhere here earlier. Gives this feminine fragrance its powerful sensuality. I love this so much. So those, that's the, those are all the details that I can find online. This is good. This is good. It's not the kind of musk that I would see in, for instance, Super Amber or even the Fenty fragrance. This is more soft because it, it just makes me think of powder, just powder, but it's done so sophisticated. It's worth a sniff for sure. I love that a lot. Now, one of my most recent, literally in like, two or three vlogs ago. Oh Jesus, this is a Lancome Soleil Cristal. Listen, I got this huge bottle because again, I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, let's just go big, okay? We are gonna go big. This, first of all, the bottle is just sexy, okay? Let me explain to you what happened. Now, this one was not on my radar at all. Literally, my husband had bought me a fragrance and then a sample of this was in it and I sprayed it and immediately I was like, yo, I'm getting that period, end of story, uh. You know, I was like, uh, has to happen ASAP. So I looked into it and I had it on my wish list. And then, you know, the way Google be working, you know how to be monitoring us and stuff. All of a sudden I saw an ad on IG and I was like, yo, they be monitoring us. I'm so sick of this. But the ad did tell me they were having a 25 or 20, 25% off sale. And I was like, okay, fine. I guess now is the time to get it. Like, I guess, I guess I've been convinced, you know? Long story short, watch my vlog. It talks about all about that. I got it, okay? And this is so good. Now this is grown and sexy, honey. This is not for children, okay? This is for the grown and sexy, honey. Oh my gosh, there's something so soft about it, yet it's captivating. It's like, it's not a scent that I believe you would smell and then be like, oh, she smells good. No, to me, it's like, oh wow, what is that? This smells great, okay? It's got top notes of mandarin oils, middle notes of white iris, ylang ylang essence, bottom notes of Madagascar bourbon vanilla and sunny coconut accord. My God, today, I don't have anything like this. This is, ha. <sighs> I love all of them. As you can tell, Marc Jacobs Perfect is really a top favorite of mine. I would put this second, if not like a one and a half to Marc Jacobs Perfect. This is really good. Like this is really good. It is really growing and sexy. If you are looking for a birthday gift and you like that sophisticated grown woman, like, you know what I'm saying? I got a 401 cap, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I take care of my business kind of a situation. You know what I'm saying? You need her. And the bottle is to die for, honey. I wish you had gotten it when I when I posted the sale on my IG stories. If you're not following IG, that's your problem because you could have gotten this for 25% off like I did. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen, I got these Atelier Colognes in PR and I was like, oh, how cute. I have never smelled anything from Atelier. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. Now we have Velvet Incense. <laughs> Hi, Incense. Love it. You better go ahead and give it a little twang. And then we have Orange Sanguine. These are very mature type scents too. I was like, wait. So the orange sang is a sanguine or sanguine, honey? I know they got a little bit of twang to this. Okay, this is not just, this ain't no American brand, okay? This is in the fresh citrus. Well, it's, a fr it's in the fresh family. It's a fresh citrus and fruits scent type. It's got geranium orange and blood orange in it, okay? A twist on classic citrus perfumes. This fruity unisex cologne is accentuated with a woody base note for a blended balance of freshness and warmth. The citrus scent of Italian blood orange is layered top Australian sandalwood and geranium from China to create a unique cologne. Okay, so yes, here we have orange sanguine. Very different from anything that I have in my in my stash. It's giving me very much orange. So to me, I would layer this. I can't imagine just wearing this by itself, but it was sent to PR and I'm grateful because I've never tried Atelier Cologne before. So very, very nice. This one is the vanilla. Incense, honey. Excuse me, I stand corrected. This is the vanille. Baby, I'm so irritated. This is vanille incense. Girl, I'm done. Let me let me fix my, fix my mouth the right way. Now, 
Now this one is warm and spicy. It is in the scent type of warm and sweet gourmands. Key notes are vanilla, lime, and amber, baby. The blend contains real vanilla bean from Madagascar with the seeds bringing sweetness and the pod a little bitterness for a combination that is perfectly balanced without being overly sweet. Yeah, it's not overly sweet at all. It's definitely a scent that I can see myself layering. I would not wear this by itself. It could use a little more, like, you know, like adding a little more to it. Love that. Oh my gosh. Did I go over the clean? I also have some travel size versions of clean reserve fragrance. My God, today. I've already dispersed them like in my purses, in my travel suitcase. So I don't have all of them, my God, today. But I love the clean reserve fragrances. Just want to put that out there. They are so good. I have those as well. They're travel sizes, so it wasn't in the same area as these full size ones were, excuse me. Ooh, Moroccan oil. Did you know that they've got a fragrance mist for your hair? First of all, I haven't seen very many fragrance mists for hair and body, so that's cool. All right, this is, this was sent to me in PR, so I have not used it yet, although, no, I have used it one time. I'm gonna use it right now too, girl, please. Anyone trying to have dusty, musty hair? Ugh. You know, you give somebody a hug. You want your body to smell good. You want your clothes to smell good. And you want your wig to smell good too, girl. Cause nobody's trying to have a dusty wig in 2021 and beyond. I'm not interested. Love that. Come on. You gotta tuck in your lips cause you don't want your lipstick to be sticking to your hair. I didn't spray it in the bottom. Listen, I hope this don't be taking the oils out your hair though. Okay, hold on. It says, it's infused with lightweight argan oil. There you go. And vitamin E to hydrate and nourish. You better go ahead and hydrate my hair cause you ain't gonna make my wig dry. I can't do it. I like this. Oh, it's like a fresh scent. I wouldn't want this on my body unless I were at the pool or the beach. It gives me that beach type fresh scent. But for the hair, I think I think for the hair, it's good all year round. This is cool and cute. I love that. Thank you very much. And ooh, Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian Crush, Girosa 40, Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. My God, today, this is also a hair and body mist. This is the kind of hair and body mist I could use. I didn't realize it was hair and body. I just realized that right now. Mm, praise the Lord. This is so good. The original one I've talked about in my original video, the original spray, which is the yellow golden type one. I have it in the spray, the mist, and the actual fragrance, because they have a fragrance of it. It lasts longer. Both smell the same. Both are fantastic. This is a newer one. My goodness, it is so sweet and berry full. It is so good. <sighs> Honestly, wow. Like, I need this in an eau de parfum. I need this in an eau de parfum. Please, thank you very much. This is so sweet and good. I just can't say it anymore. It's so sweet and so good. That is all you need to know. It is so fantastic. This is just an all year round amazing scent. It's got black amber plum, vanilla woods, jasmine blooms, glamorous and luxurious. It evokes a luminous sophistication. It does. Top notes are black amber plum, creme de cassis, cassis. Cassis, that. Middle notes of jasmine blooms, Brazilian orchid. Dry down is vanilla woods and warm. Say it with me, musk. Mm, 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 mm. This is good, man. Oh my gosh, okay, wow. Between this and Lancome, uh, Lancome Soleil Cristal and, Mar I almost wanted to say Giorgio Armani, by the way, and Marjake is perfect, girl, oh my gosh. I have a lot of favorites. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is definitely at the top. It is. Now, the last three, this has been a long video. If you've been here for a long time, I really do appreciate it. I do random giveaways. Comment below because you just never know, okay? I have to talk about my last three full-size type, not like travel, you know, fragrances. Last three, which are these? These were gifts and always so grateful. Nest always takes care of me with their candles, which are, which are so fantastic, so, so good. I actually have four. I have one called Madagascar Vanilla 
in the bathroom. I'm using it right now. It's so good. So we've got these perfume oils, which are so cute. Let me show you them individually. So first up, we have South Pacific Sandalwood. The packaging is so cute for me. It's got a dropper, which is so cute. And you just drop it, I, I suppose, onto the areas you want it to go, but of course, into the palm of the hand. And then I just rub it wherever, my arms, my back, my legs. When I apply this after my moisturizer, it looks like it has given me a bit of sheen. But when I've applied this, when my moisturizer has dried down, like I'm just sitting here and I'm gonna put a little, little fragrance oil on, a little bit of perfume oil on, I don't believe it leaves an oil type sheen. At least I haven't seen that when my skin is dry. But after moisturizer, yeah, it mixes in, it mixes with it a little bit. This is a one ounce. This is so good. The the South Pacific Sandalwood, let me sniff it again. Mmm, got a freshness to it. It's got a freshness to it. I like this one a lot. Escape the arboreous Isles of South Pacific with the concentrated essence of island sandalwood, fresh violet leaves, and earthy vetiver. I love vetiver. I love the fragrance that I have for my husband from Jo Malone. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Ah, oh, it is so rich and sexy. Goodness gracious. If you got a man, boyfriend, husband, father, older son, because it's not for children, go ahead and get the Joe Malone Vitiver. Is it Vitiver and Oud? My God. I think it is that. I'll link it below. It is fantastic. This is another one from them Turkish Rose. It's the light pink for me. It is so cute. Give it a sniff again. Mm, 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 mm. Squeeze that out so I don't get any dripping on me. Oh, yes. Wow, it really opened up my nasal passageway. <laughs> this is so good. I'm just reminded. I've sniffed these. I'm just being reminded right now. We've got a floral perfume with Rosa de Massina. Mm, okay. From Turkey, baby, we got hand-picked rosebuds. Girl, we got greatness, okay? What did she say? Boa ba boa ba mm -hmm. Luxurious bo bow bob Girl, you ain't gonna get in with that word. I don't understand that. I can't say y'all ain't gonna do me like that, okay? Last but not least, honey, we have the Seville Orange. This is the first one that they sent to me, and this one is pretty sweet. It's orange, okay? It smells so good, yeah. I almost drank it the way I was holding it up. It just smells like straight up orange. It reminds me of the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. This is a layerable scent to me, unless you just want to smell like just orange on any given day. Love, love, love love. So I'm going to link all these fragrances below. This has been quite a feat, quite a video, quite an undertaking. Praise the Lord. I'm going to leave all the links below to all of the fragrances that I've discussed here. I hope that you had fun watching the video. Even if you don't like any of the fragrances, I'm pretty sure you were entertained by me. If not, you were just basking in all of this fabulousness. I'm sure you were. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, share it with your girlfriend's bookmark it, watch it again, baby. Okay. Purchase using my links if you so please. Please go ahead and get your holiday gifts, okay? For yourself, treat yourself, okay? Treat your loved ones, baby. Watch some more videos because I have lots of great videos. I post three times a week. So come around again and again and comment below because I wanna know if you have tried any of these, if you like them, you don't like them. And I'm always adding to my fragrance wish list. Let me know if you have some fragrances that you absolutely adore that you think I should purchase because I'm going to get at least five fragrances this fall. Oh my goodness. I know. It's such a great problem to have. <laughs> All right. As always, glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Bye.